The goal of any great TV show, whether it's a fun little sitcom, a bracing crime procedural, or a fantastical epic, is to keep its audience on its toes. Unfortunately, taking a leap of creative faith can also painfully backfire. So, with that in mind, I'm Ellie for What Culture, and these are 10 TV shows that went too far. Number 10. Izzy's Ghostly Grief, Grey's Anatomy Grey's Anatomy has a long history of slightly odd storylines, mainly where its unlikely medical cases are concerned. I mean, do you remember the guy who ate dolls? But the series was never stranger than when surgical resident Izzy Stevens started hallucinating and even sleeping with the ghost of her late ex, Denny. Now, this subplot as a whole isn't as bad as you might remember, serving as a really powerful and jarring exploration of grief and mourning, since Izzy blames herself for Denny's death and is seeing him because of the cancer that she's yet to be diagnosed with. But the length of it and its unsettling intimacy is far too odd to be as moving as it wants to be. Now, credit should go to Katherine Heigl and Jeffrey Dean Morgan for giving such a mismatched storyline the depth that they did, but Grey's Anatomy fans the world over will all likely agree that this reunion never should have happened. But hey, when a series has run for as long as this cult favourite has, you're bound to have a few duds in there. Number 9. Ross Makes a Move on His Cousin, Friends Ross Geller is a nightmare person throughout the duration of Friends, a compulsive cheater who secretly dated one of his students and at one point pretended to be dead to see if anyone cared about him. But he was never ickier or more unlikable than the time that he made a move on his own cousin. Watching a movie with Cassie, Ross finds himself overwhelmingly attracted to his literal relative, so much so that he actually leans in for a kiss. And when she tells him off, I haven't had sex in a very long time is the apparently hysterical reason he gives for such a manoeuvre. A scene played for laughs with no repercussions, Ross's brief moment with Cassie is a step too far for friends, and its otherwise silly look at the relatable foibles people get up to on the day to day. This doesn't happen, and it isn't funny. And another reason why we should never have been rooting for Ross in the first place. I mean, mm. Number 8. The Mother is Dead, How I Met Your Mother the setup is simple and actually quite beautiful. Ted Mosby wants to sit his kids down and tell them all about how he met their mother. Granted, it's a long-winded story that takes nine seasons to tell, but at its best, How I Met Your Mother was a wonderful little show, aiming for a hopeful, romantic conclusion. Or so we thought. In the finale, Ted reveals that Tracy, the love of his life and mother to his children, has been dead for six years. And the only reason he's telling his kids the story of his life is because he wants their permission to once again pursue his life long-time on-and-off girlfriend Robin. It's a jarring, cruel development that undermines the entire nature of the show before it, making Tracy a footnote in her own story so that Ted can emotionally manipulate his kids for a relationship that, frankly, never worked in the first place. Tracy deserved better, and so did the fans who invested in a happy ending. Number 7. Deb's in love with her brother, Dexter Dexter was a show rife with brilliant rug pulls from the death of Rita to the true identity of the infamous ice truck killer, but it also had some awful ones. From the final fate of Dexter to this list pick, Deborah and her romantic attraction to her brother. In the back end of season 6, it's revealed that Deb is actually in love with Dexter, her adoptive brother and closest confidant, a fact that she relays to him in season 7. Carpenter, to her credit, sells the revelation as a powerful testament to Deb's fractured mental state. But the twist at Itself is too unearned and weird to make any sense. It does Dexter little favours, proving that after seven seasons of killing serial killers, the series may have been losing steam. And though it's tucked away pretty quickly, it still leaves a rotten taste in the mouth, especially since Deb dies just a season later. Number 6. Tig Loses a Daughter, Sons of Anarchy like several shows still to come on this list, Sons of Anarchy seem to revel in the horrible and the nasty. It featured torture, bloody brawls, child kidnapping, and the cruel existence of doomed biker Otto, after all. But it was never more heartless or needlessly cruel as it was to Tig in Season 5. Now, Tig was no angel, but watching him helplessly watch as his daughter is burned alive by big bad Damon Pope will forever haunt fans of the series. Not only because Dawn was an innocent, but because the scene itself is so long, so gruelling, and so viscerally inhumane. It goes on too long, truth be told, and the sheer unrelenting misery of it all eventually overshadows the meaning behind it, leaving it more gratuitous than anything else. Watching a terrified young woman burn to death whilst her defenceless father screams like a wounded animal will just do that to you. 
Number 5. The Death of Shireen Baratheon at Game of Thrones Since we're all having so much fun talking about fiery deaths, here's another one from a show synonymous with taking things too far. Game of Thrones had it all. Assault, murder, incest, gnarly torture, you name it. But even it has a moment that went overboard, and that was with the death of young Shireen Baratheon. In a show of deplorable wretches and irredeemable monsters, Shireen was a rare endearing presence, a wounded, kindly girl who loved deeply and was therefore, obviously in hindsight, doomed to a cruel fate. But no one could have predicted seeing her burned at the stake, a sacrifice by her father to help him win the war. Considering the fact that up to that point, Stannis had been shown to dote on his daughter. Seeing him stare coldly while she burns and screams for release might just be the most hopelessly bleak thing Game of Thrones ever did. And of course, her sacrifice was all in vain, adding to its prolonged, almost unwatchable cruelty. Number 4. Robson's Dental Procedure, Oz if there was any show that could rival Game of Thrones for title of most unsettling, it would be Oz, HBO's early masterwork that features more horrible human behaviour and graphic violence than almost anything seen on TV before or since. And this was one of its very worst moments, in an endless sea of them. After making a name for himself as a steadfast member of the Aryan Brotherhood, convicted murderer Robson develops gum disease and has a surgical graft to fix it. Learning after the fact that the graft was taken from a black man, distraught and removed from the Brotherhood, he takes a razor and decides to cut the gums out of his mouth. It's a sadistic, visceral scene, the prelude to which sees Robson using heroin as a painkiller before we're shown in vivid, zoomed-in detail his razor cut out chunks of his gums. Even for Oz, this scene was seriously twisted. Number 3. Negan introduces Lucille, The Walking Dead Fans of the Walking Dead comic series knew what was coming, though most were hoping it would be toned down for a TV broadcast. Unfortunately though, we weren't so lucky, and the deaths of Glenn and Abraham were every bit as bloody, over the top and grim as its source material. If you were to pinpoint the exact moment many fans turned on AMC's zombie hit, you need look no further than the moment Negan takes his bat Lucille and beats the holy hell out of Glenn in front of his pregnant wife in a sequence that lasts about two Two gruelling minutes. Too far indeed. Before the deaths of these two fan favourites, The Walking Dead hadn't exactly been tame, but it had relied on slight realistic touch and subtlety, leaving a lot of its nastiest moments to our imagination. With this, it leapt headfirst into merciless torture porn, making Negan a threat, but the series itself far removed from what it once was. Number 2. Spike Assaults Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Though it made sense to have Spike do something ungodly to hammer home that he's still a monster, having him brutally force himself on a wounded Buffy was definitely not the way forward. In one of the most controversial TV episodes ever aired, Season 6's Seeing Red, Spike tries to reignite his twisted love affair with this slayer, and when she rebuffs him, he beats her down and starts to undress her. He's pushed off and crashes back to reality after seeing the damage he's caused, but by then it's definitely too late. Spike would go on to have a stag arc in Buffy's final season, but this moment still lingers heavy in the mind of the show's fandom, for all the wrong traumatic reasons. And, spoiler alert, the fact that this was also the episode the amazing Tara dies only makes the episode that much harder to forget. Number 1. Basically all of it, 13 Reasons Why now let's get this out of the way as bluntly as possible. 13 Reasons Why is a bad show that has caused more damage than any TV series of its generation. It reportedly wanted to look at the hardships of teenage life in America. Gun violence, sexual violence, love, addiction, friendship, suicide, depression, and all it really did was fumble at every turn. First of all, there's the infamous scene, since removed by Netflix, of narrator Hannah Baker killing herself in a bathtub, which would go on to be linked with a rise in youth suicide after its release. But this wasn't all. 13 Reasons Why also had school outcast Tyler assaulted with a broom, who in his trauma would almost commit a school shooting, dozens of instances of sexual assault, and a finale that mercilessly killed off Justin, a young drug addict who developed HIV as a last second twist. None of this was handled with any kind of care, and in many cases the show's warm aesthetic and narration justifying its characters' decisions actually glamorised them. It was awful from the off, but 13 Reasons Why only got worse with time and did nothing to combat the troubling real-world issues it claimed to be fighting for its vulnerable audience. My advice? Stay clear.